The TI-84 isn't very much help in a typical geometry class until you enhance it with a free program called Transformations Professor. See the link in the description. With this added to your TI-84, you can do all these transformations, but this vid will focus on showing you how you can do reflections and translations. Let's see how reflections work. First, you need to enter a shape. This is done by entering in the vertices of a polygon. You can enter them as XY coordinates using the built-in lists, or you enter them by hand. Or you can try things out with a preloaded shape, which is an irregular pentagon. From the main menu, you can see what the shape looks like, and also see the coordinates. To do a reflection, choose number 6, and then you will see you can specify any line you want as a line of reflection. Here's what it looks like if we reflect across the y-axis. And here is what it looks like if we reflect across the x-axis. Notice how the graph is always adjusted to be square units so everything's scaled true. You can also scale across the diagonal line, and when you do, a light dotted green line will show you where the line of reflection is. Best of all, you may always view the coordinates of the pre-image and the resulting image. Here's a powerful feature. Reflect over a custom line in the form of y equals mx plus b. Let's have a look at a line with a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of 2. Here's what it looks like, and you'll see that green line of reflection. Now, if you need to continue transforming on that image, you can choose number 3, Continue with Image, and apply another reflection. Let's reflect across the line x equals negative 4. And now let's view, there you have it. You can also see the coordinates. Let's have a look at translations. Choose number eight, start new shape. And this time, manually put in a triangle by entering the vertices, negative one, negative one, three, three, and four, negative two. And here's what it looks like. To translate it two units to the left and three units down, our h value will be negative two, and the k value will be negative three. When you view the result, the red triangle image has indeed moved over two to the left and three down. That's it for this video. Take a look at my other video, which covers the other transformations of dilations and rotations. If this video was helpful, please be so nice and give me a thumbs up. Again, see the link in the description to get a copy of this free program.